Uh, I mean, look, anytime you go 0-2 on the road, uh, two games we thought we, sh we could have had, you know, wins in. Uh, we felt like we let ourselves down in the New Zealand game. Uh, Sydney, we felt like we bounced back and played a bit better, but they made crucial shots at big times. Uh, they had guys off the bench that, that made big plays that don't normally make big plays. So we took a lot from it and we learned a lot. So uh, for us this week, training, one of the biggest focuses is our defensive communication, just our energy and our enthusiasm to each other. Uh, for us, that's the most important thing is, is just trying to get on the same page and just trying to be for each other more than, you know, for ourselves. That's a great shot, Dane. Good work, Dane. Play out of it, got 14. I think for me, the biggest thing about making other people better and trying to communicate to them, give them the little niches and the little, I guess, insights and little holes you can kind of figure out to, to, to get the result you want quicker. I do that a lot more because it's a part of who I am as my... Um, my DNA, I guess. Uh, I want everyone to be successful. The more we are successful as a team and the more everyone knows, the more we can actually improve and, and get you know, more winning situations. So uh, I had it in bits and pieces, I guess, throughout my career and I felt how much it helped me. So uh, if I can give back to the, to the guys and, and give them any kind of information or any help at all, then um, that makes me feel good and it makes them feel even better when, when we get the results. Guys, how long you have it on that pullout? How long you have when you pull that out? When you have four? Three, four, five seconds. Had to get it Pull it out. Go out in. Get into your favourite trips. <laughs> yeah, we know Illawarra this week are going to be very talented. Uh, they have a roster where young guys are coming in. They're Australians are playing with a lot of confidence. Uh, Sunday and Emmett and Greeter, and then you've got guys like Ogilvy who are playing really well. So you had the mix of veterans like Conrad and, and some of their imports. And even though they let guys go and no Lamelo, uh, they're very talented. They play a, a very, very smart system, which they know the reads uh, and the ins and outs, the intricacies really well. So. We've got to go in, we've got to be focused. Uh, we know they're going to come out and, and give us everything they got. They're going to shoot the ball at a high rate. They're going to play the pick and roll and get on the rim with AJ. So we'll do our best to try and slow that down and, and try and get what we want offensively and also defensively. Limit them to one shot and we know that that'll put us in good stead for a good result. We're trying to get better every single day as a ball club. Uh, we're trying to make great foundations as a community and an organization as well. So. I know results are what everyone wants and, and we want the wins just as much as everyone. Um, I know people get a bit frustrated and a bit stressed out, but trust me, no one hurts more than me or my teammates or my coaches or my staff. So uh, we are uh, one team that are all striving for, for one goal of trying to win as many games as possible. So, um, you know, we know these games are very important. The back end of the season is always business end. Um, it is close for the third, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh and whoever else. Uh, we know we have to go out there and win in the next couple of games. We know we have to try and have a strong finish, but. At the same time, it's how we've lost our games we've been disappointed. How we've won our games sometimes isn't always the best either, but when we lose and we win, when we win doing it the right way, we can live with that. So we'll come out, put in a good few performances over the next few weeks and hopefully get a few wins.